Here we go, the boating season is about to start. I'm heading up to Trackety to Cabano Marine to pick up our Bear Fisher 695. I do want to thank Alexan and his team here at Cabano Marine in Trackety, New Brunswick, uh, for keeping our baby safe all winter, nice and warm, and for preparing her for the season. So big thumbs up, great dealer, love you guys. And of course, Mother Nature wanted to remind us that it's not summer yet. Uh, there you have it. This is April in Canada, so you just never know. One day can be super sunny, and the next day you have this. So, all right, guys, it's a happy times as you can see. The boat made it home April 18th, 2021. Super stoked! Come on in, she's an empty boat, but so happy to have her home. A little bit of heat uh, while I'm plugged in in the garage and I'm gonna start the process of putting the cushions everything will be in place for navigation the bimini in the back is off for winter so all the cushions are stored hey everyone my name is Ivan welcome to chasing sunset it is a new channel that uh, I've created this winter. Uh, for uh, the few of you that are following, uh, you would have seen a couple of video clips uh, over the last several months. 99% um, of you that are not following, uh, well, I wanted to present myself to you and uh, tell you about a little bit about this channel. So really, this channel has just uh, been created to share the fun. I come from a windsurfing background, sailing background, kite surfing. I just love being on the water. I cannot get enough. Uh, my poor family is stuck to enjoy this with me. And my wife Anne, my daughter is Anne. So we spend our days at the beaches, uh, maybe a little wakeboarding, uh, kite surfing. Uh, so this is Mary Fisher 695 is the perfect little vessel for us to enjoy our waters, to stay warm in the not so nice days. Uh, a little cooking, uh, coffee in the morning, things like that. Um, so please join the channel if you wish, follow us along. Um, and there's no money involvement here. It's really, you know, the channel may just grow to uh, whatever it's gonna grow to. But the whole reason is just to share the fun uh, go ahead, ask some questions. Uh, so far, I've answered every single comment on there. Of course, it was easy. There was not, wasn't many of them. Uh, feel free to ask a couple comments. If you're thinking of buying a Mary Fisher 695, I know there's plenty of videos out there from salesmen that are doing a great job uh, doing walk around of these uh, boats. Uh, but feel free to ask me uh, what I like, what I dislike. Uh, I'll probably make a video on something like that along the way. Um, but uh, really, uh, so far we, we enjoy this uh, little boat and um, I just want to share the fun with you guys. So if you want to come along, uh, feel free to do so and uh, um, I'll see you out on the water in a couple days. Cheers.
did he have sorry? Paiso! Tesla! guys thanks for sticking around as I mentioned a few minutes ago or in this case two days later I am now on the water for the first time uh, this season I just brought I just dropped my wife off uh, on the beach she's gone for a 10 kilometer run and maybe 12 or 13 kilometers God knows uh, up the beach uh, this is a beautiful beach in New Brunswick on the Canadian East Coast uh, where you can only access by boat pure sand for miles and miles and miles um, it is the extension of a national, uh, uh, Canadian National Park. I uh, would come here all summer long. Usually uh, behind me there's a, the south side of the, the dunes. Uh, and here we're on the north side of the dunes. And then it's the Rishibaktu River that uh, goes in. So beautiful spot. Uh, I am in the Jeannot Mary Fisher 695. It is about 10 degrees outside. A little sea breeze. So a little chilly. But as you can see, I'm in the cabin. It's not even heated. It is the main reason why we bought this boat. Uh, so that we can enjoy the shoulder season especially. So spring, fall, I, we are so happy and so comfortable in this boat. And uh, I want to continue to share this uh, as my excitement with you guys. So stick around. I'll uh, give you a couple drone shots. And uh, we'll probably see my wife uh, arriving back. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll continue.
thousand years later. All right, here we are again. Here's my lovely wife coming back from a nice long run. Not sure what's wrong with this picture, but uh, today uh, she's running 12, 13 Ks and I'm having fun writing messages on the sand. Stefan. What's up, my wife? I'm hungry. Why? I just ran 10 K. <laughs> Woo. I was telling everybody we we're running 12, 13 K. So. No, I did oh. 10. There is no more beach. All right. Beer feet. Woo! <laughs> what was that? Français, English or French? Come to the uh, English. Anglais. English. I just ran 10k. Now I gotta get on the boat. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get on the boat. And why is it a problem to get on the boat? Because I got no more strength right now. Oh, oh. And you got no step or ladder from oh, the front. No. And I'm a minion. <laughs> Five, three. <laughs> My beautiful little minion. Minion. Or Teletubby. <laughs> Should we film that? No. Yes. No. Yes, I can. No, no, you can. Oh, yes, I can. Yeah. You can do it. Run and jump. No? <laughs> the water's cold. <laughs> Oh, yes, you can. No, no, yeah, like that. Try that. Oh, yep, not bad. Oh, geez, better than me. Damn, <laughs> shit. Okay, <laughs> he wanted to laugh at me. Let's see Put him. Let's see him get on the boat. <laughs> oh, he copied me. <laughs> I told, I gave you my trick. <laughs> you copied me. I wouldn't have gave you my trick. <laughs> my trick, yours would have been so funny. <laughs>